So before I start, I'd like to say I got braces down here. So I have like a lisp now. I hate it, but I have it now. So that's there. Um, anyway, I haven't reviewed movies in forever. It's been a very long time since I've reviewed movies. The last movie I reviewed was The Call of the Wild back in February. And I, there's other movies I have seen that I could review. I could have reviewed Onward. I just chose not to. I could have reviewed uh, Fantasy Island. I chose not to for a good reason. But the reason why I haven't really reviewed many movies lately is mostly because of the pandemic and just me not being as interested in reviewing them and interested in talking about them. I've been more interested in other things like music. So I plan to do more music reviews on this channel, by the way. But in general, the reason why I haven't reviewed many movies is not jet. By the way, there's an echo in this room because it's like I painted it all. It looks way different now and I have to put posters up in a one of an echo. But everything like with the pandemic and also the fact that no movies are coming out. And there are movies that have come out. There's Scoob, there's Trolls, but neither of them looked like films I really cared to see and wanted to check out. So I just decided to skip out on them, not pay for them, not spend any money. But Artemis Fowl is a movie I had my interest for since the first trailer came out like a year and a half ago. It, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't that the trailer was good. It was just that the trailer piqued my interest to see the movie. It got delayed over and over again because this movie's been in production hell for a very long time. And it got delayed not because of um, production issues. It got delayed because of the Fox deal. It was more that they Fox didn't really care. Obviously, Fox didn't care about the movie, so they continued to delay it. Or wasn't Fox, it was Disney. They needed a lay because they wanted to leave room for the Fox films and more their own movies. So it was supposed to come out August last year, but now it came out May this year or June this year. And then with the pandemic, it got delayed two weeks and it got slapped on a Disney Plus, unlike any other Disney movie coming out. They have not done this with any other movie. So my expectations were already very low. My expectations were also low from the last trailer. I just didn't expect anything good. And maybe I don't come to expect anything good from a live action Disney film at this point since most of the new ones are pretty trash. So I went into this with very low expectations, not expecting anything good. And surprisingly enough, this movie has gotten hate. Like this movie has 11% on Rotten Tomatoes. People freaking hate this movie. And I went into it with the lowest expectations. Somehow this freaking movie went below my expectations. For I guess I'll go to the, what I liked about the movie. I think at points the action is kind of cool. Um, or at least the effects are sometimes okay. The concepts which they didn't create, the book created, are okay. None of the performances are trash. That's that's what's good. Um, this movie is, you know what, this is the way I would word it. I don't think there's a version of this movie that's worse than the version I just saw. I don't think there's a way this movie could have been worse. This is like the most incompetent movie I've seen in a very long time. I really do not understand how this script made it past onto the onto the extent where this is going to be released worldwide. This script is worse than some Disney TV movies. I don't understand how this got anywhere. Beyond the fact that this movie is just boring, it seems amateur. It seems like this is everybody in these movies' first time. And this movie has some great actors like Judi Dench, but nobody in this movie gives, performance-wise, nobody's interesting. And I feel very bad for this main kid because his performance is so bad. I don't even have words. It is, I have no idea how this is in a multi-million dollar blockbuster. It is just genuinely a joke of a performance. I get it's a kid. I feel bad for the kid, honestly, but boy, what a horrible performance. And uh, Colin, I, I keep forgetting his last name, Colin Farrell, that's his name, um, gives a performance in this movie and it's pretty subpar considering how great of an actor he is. He could do a lot better than this. It's, he seems like he just kind of phones it in. One performance in particular that I want to mention is the brilliant performance by Josh Gad, whom I already don't think is very funny or good. I think he can be good. He's just never really made me laugh in any movie he's ever been in. So he plays the comedy relief character, only he's a narrator. I'm not even joking. He's the narrator of this movie. I literally, okay, the movie, 
it's like he narrates the movie and he's sitting in like this jail cell talking to a camera being interviewed and he's the narrator for the entire movie and he it's like josh Gad doing this horrible snow compression that's the way it seems and i literally made a joke at the beginning of this movie and watching and i just thought okay wouldn't it be funny if he just narrated the whole movie but turns out that's exactly what happens and judy dench um i don't know who this um, i don't know who her agent is but she her whoever her agent is really wants her career to die because this is the movie that this is the movie she's signed up on freaking last movie was cats and then now artemis fowl i don't get that but it's what she chose to do it's her career and to add on top of all these problems i've already listed off the action in this movie is i'm not even joking some of the most incompetently directed action I've ever seen, not just in million dollar blockbusters, in like all movies. This action is so horribly edited, so horribly shot, the effects are so terrible, I don't understand how this even got made. It's kind of insane that this movie got anywhere past just, like this script, I swear to God, was written by somebody who's never like written a script in their life. Possibly somebody who's just never even, like, has no experience in the film industry wrote this script. It's that bad. And to add on top of this insanely flawed movie, which a movie I had a little bit of hope for. I didn't think it was going to be good, but I hoped it would be slightly competent. The concept and plot of this movie is just already so boring. Like, there's nothing interesting about this world. And the characters, and I also noticed this, this is one of these films where the main characters don't seem like the main characters, they kind of seem like the villains, and I don't understand why the villain's really the villain. I didn't even really understand a lot of points in this movie just because of how awfully executed any concept is in this movie. There's a villain who's like an evil fairy. That's all I know about him. He had some revenge thing. They want this MacGuffin that if you get it, you get magical powers and they have to fight over it. And it's a plot you've seen a million times, only this time it's directed and written by two-year-olds. The fact that this was made by the director of Cinderella, which I've never seen that movie, don't have any intents to. The fact that this is the same director of that makes me wonder if that movie's actually any good because this, I have no idea how this got made. It's actually kind of insane that this movie got passed off as okay to release. It's incompetently directed. There, I can't think of like one good thing. I can't think of a single thing I liked. Maybe the effects are sometimes okay, but overall the effects aren't good. And maybe some concepts are good, but in any other movie, and I mean any other fantasy movie, these concepts are done way better. All the characters are hateable. There's nothing coherent about it at all. It is just the most incompetent film that could have they could have made. The fact that this is not only a million dollar blockbuster, but under Disney, makes it all the more offensive. I hate everything this movie did. I don't think it did one thing right. I feel like this is just, this is the worst it could have been. Um, you know, I've been thinking about it. I don't know how I'm actually gonna edit this video. So it might, it's gonna be different than older reviews, but I'm feeling a, I'm feeling a zero out of 10 for Artemis Fowl. Um, yeah, I cannot think of one thing that they did right. Cannot think of one thing. Please do not watch this movie. It is a total waste of your time and it was a waste of my time. Um, worst movie of the year without question. Fantasy Island looks like The Lion King compared to this. Um, if you guys saw Artemis Fowl, you probably didn't. What do you guys think of it? Uh, imagine if this was released in theaters. I just thought of that. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. I'm sorry it sounds so bored in this review. I just. This movie's so awful, I just have no expression in my voice. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Um, hopefully the next movie review I end up doing is a better movie. Hopefully it is.